What is happening, people of the world? Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey and Wade Show with me, your host, Tommy Mack. And me, your better host, Taylor McKenna. And you know, we're back in the Garrick. That's our partner, the best bar in the city center. Make sure you come down and get the cocktail menu, wines, beers, everything, food, yeah. and what do you call it? Irish coffee. The best Irish coffee in the world. Not just the city, the world, Craig. <laughs> and today... We are joined by a very, very special guest. He's all known from all social media, has an unbelievable following. The creator of AMPX, the most notorious businessman in the country. Please welcome to the show, Mr. Andy Malone. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mike. Hello, folks. Yeah. Hey, generally, you're like just channel radio us, friends. Yes, yes, yes. Chandler Bing, and no one knows his job title. <laughs> <laughs> that's you to me. And that's the way to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know your job title. Like, uh, hey, What's said, Andy do? He said, he said, he said Andy's coming on. I was like, I know who Andy Malone is. And I went on your Instagram and stuff. And I was like, what does he actually do? You know what he is? Number one influential boxer in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in a first fight. <laughs> hey, let's, let's speak the facts. Yep. I've seen you had a meeting with uh, my mate, Mick Hanlon. I was meeting with Mick, yes. What was is. that all about? There's things you can say and things you can't say. Yeah. We're, we're, say what you can. We're in discussions at the minute. Though. We're looking. Uh, we're looking at a few stateners and a few. Have, you, have, you, have you ever boxed? Ah, I've done a bit of boxing. Does he? But see, me and Tommy's going to. Yeah, do we'll, we'll yeah. see. We'll see what you've done. Very <laughs> little. <laughs> <laughs> but I can go. <laughs> have, a, have a good chin. <laughs> <laughs> I can take it. But you're wanting to get involved in the in the bo- misfits boxing, is it or? Ah, so so. Well, there's a couple a couple of things going on. Who would Two you? Two things I'll tell you is off, off camera, but right. well, there's there's a wee bit going on, yeah. Who uh who would be your dream fight if you you got a fight? Dream fight? Fucking mm. pick any of them all. Uh-huh. Any of them? Who who? Name names. Who will take? We'll take fucking who? Jake Paul. Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. KSA. We'll take any of them, and then there's a few wee chumps underneath them. We'll take Who's them the too. Chumps? Somebody <laughs> told me yesterday, call this wee chump out. What do you call him? Tiki Taki or Tiki Taki? No. H H S Tiki Taki or something yeah. like that. If he wants to go, I'll go with him too. We can also smash your boy from Belfast. Bitcoin. What do you call him? Bitcoin. Bico. Oh. Bico. <laughs> <laughs> Bico will smash him. Bico. Uh, Bico wants to go and smash him too. You know? Nigo well, Nigo's got a bit of experience there. He just fought not too long ago. They were fighting for that. Had a draw fight. Girl, the girls Titan. The girls Titan. <laughs> the, girl, the girls heavyweight. <laughs> <laughs> he's been training like fucks he has. He's, he's, he's ready for it. Good. But now if he wants to go, we'll go. I might look anyone. You had beef with uh, Chris Suter before, didn't you? I'd hit Suter on fucking Pico at the same time. <laughs> on a straight in the SSC arena for fucking money on the table. I'd put my money there, put their money, and take it to them at the same time. And Why not? Chris Suter would sell out the fucking SSC. The man knows everyone. I don't know. What, what, what's, the, what's the beef with? Now, let's, we'll go back because Nico's been on the show. And... A friend, a friend of the show, and he, uh, I asked him when he was on about what's the crack with you and him. So he gave his version of events. Well, he won't. He didn't really have a version of events. What is your version of events? Because the, the 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 show that I really enjoyed, Trollbusters. That's when I became <laughs> an Andy Malone follower. Yeah, yeah that's when you got big team in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what is the, the backstory behind it? Look, boys, the crack is. Look, I've no fucking hated towards these boys. I'll smash them for the crack. I'll smash mm. them for a bit of dough. But I was fucking done throw busters. You've seen that? Yeah. Before that, we pretended I was going to fucking L.A. Mm. Did you ever see that one? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was going to ask you where the problem was <laughs> we crack went. Right, so we pretended. We went pretend we were in L.A. And we went and got the jet and all them. We stayed in a hotel in Dublin. Mm. And we, we were staying in a hotel in Dublin and went to drink. Right, with the camera guys. We went to drink for three days. And we sat with all the, um, the laptops out. And we recorded everybody throwing us. So we had this all set up. We said, yeah. we can get all these cunts to come out of the woodwork. Now, we didn't think it was going to go as big as it was. We thought we were going to get fucking 10 clowns coming out and say, oh, look at Andy Malone's eyebrows. How could he get uh, uh, something that fixed? You know, we thought it was going to... Yeah. Then all of a sudden, fucking Suter. Never heard of him come out of the woodwork. Bitcoin or Pico come out of the woodwork. <laughs> never heard of him. He says, what the fuck's going on here? All these guys come out of the woodwork. And he says, right, I'll tell you what it is. This is a perfect storm. So we kept creating yeah. it. They mm. were saying, hush up, man's jetting all. Pico was lying. Like, as I said, I no fucking, no, no hate to the words, man, but he was lying on his bathroom floor crying. <laughs> crying. <laughs> I can't believe that, man. And, and then Suda was saying, I can't even play my music because of him and all. Well, 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 I remember. Well, 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 because I, because I, I said I got a fucking documentary on Netflix called The Rise of Andy Malone. While he was sitting in Dublin, 
Prank and fuck on my So, see, that whole the Netflix thing was that all just a prank, a ho- just for a, a crack? Pr- a prank and a fucking. Just set. Like, I'm saying sitting in a fucking. But we you doing that just just to fucking like to get people to come out of the woodwork? Okay. But we're going through a fucking pandemic. Everyone was fucking. Social media was pure. Everyone was trolling. Mm. We said, how do you get them out of the woodwork? So you can't troll, like, sunglasses pretty on pretty and a wee small jet that you couldn't even walk. Yeah. In, <laughs> you had to make the thing right. Then we sat with a big bag of fucking hundred k and sterling money, saying we're going to America. Everyone was going to go. Why is it not dollars? Why is he yeah. wearing sunglasses and it's raining? It was raining. And I said, let's paint the perfect storm. How do you get them out of the woods? Yeah. Put your suit on. It's as if you'd wear a suit when you were traveling in the jet. Yeah. I had the suit on, buttoned up, shades on, big bag, hold the cake, cash of sterling. Was the money real? That? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, was it all sorted? <laughs> <laughs> I was fake with my sunglasses. <laughs> but that was the, the game. The game fucking worked perfectly. So what we planned on doing, a lot of people still don't know this story. I haven't put this out in any other podcast. So we planned to get the trolls to come out. Mm. We done troll busters. And then I created my own documentary, The Rise of Andy Malone documentary, right? Mm. We created the whole documentary and then we charged everybody. And then we got all the money and all the trolls. You know, we bought it all. The trolls. Of course. Oh, so what we done was took all the money and give it to the mental health charity, fifty thousand pounds. Yeah. Oh, all right, so it all. Oh, we took all the money into it. It was it was it was it was that good of a fucking. I, you know what it was. I haven't even come out and told this because I did nice. At the fifty grand went to fucking it. Forget about twelve busters to stay. Forget about this to stay. Yeah. Everyone's going where down the Malone going. I goes look. I done my good deed. I'm only after giving fifty thousand pounds, the biggest donation ever to a mental health yeah. charity in Ireland. Mm. I know what everyone's coming out and saying. Fake check. <laughs> <laughs> they go. <laughs> they go, what are you here? I got a fucking phone call from fucking Pips, right? Andy, we got a phone call there from the Sunday World. They're looking to print a story about you, about how you didn't donate 50,000 pounds. And I said, what did you tell them? I said, we told him you didn't give us fifty thousand yeah, pounds, yeah. and I said, "I was the story," and I said, oh, "I don't want to print the story." <laughs> and the son that world wouldn't print the story, and so they weren't going to print the story off because it was a good deed. Yeah, yeah. Man, Andy, only uh, give fifty grand, the biggest ever donation. There wasn't a newspaper in the country you wanted to put it out. But you know what they did want to do? I, I, Andy Malone didn't give fucking fifty thousand pounds, and I know what I said to myself after that. I says, "Troll busters," and then I took a wee bit of break of social media. Yeah. Everyone's seen, and I said, "Hey, done a good deed." People were struggling with depression mm. during COVID. I give them fucking fifty thousand pounds. I still wasn't good enough. And then people were even saying, it must be laundered money. It must be. And I'm saying, hold on. You can't win. You yeah, get £50,000 to people that are suffering. And the people that were taking the money and going to, going to the charity were probably the ones that were fucking trolling. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, nobody would come out from under the racks, you know, because we smoked everybody. We smoked Bico. Yeah. What, 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 what is it? Troll busters? Go ahead. I'm you never see troll busters? Nah, I don't watch them. Real. Oh, do you know? He's wrapped up in his own world. <laughs> He's in his own wee with troll world. <laughs> like, I don't even know his wee world. <laughs> but um, not as troll busters, yes. So we were down in... Uh, uh, we booked the fucking... Uh, um, I heard about... I heard the storm you were creating. I heard about... We booked the hotel room. We were here, so we booked the hotel room, right? And I said, we need to get a wee chat. That mm. looks like it couldn't even get out of the airport, right? Mm. You want to see the status? I couldn't stand up, and I had to crawl into the chat, right? <laughs> it was like going into a washing machine, right? I had to crawl into it, <laughs> and I was sitting there, and um, I said, right, we put this one post up mm. saying, Andy Malone's on way to LA for a Netflix documentary, mm. right? Everybody came out of the woodwork. I mean, it went like fucking 20,000 likes, fucking everything writing under it. That, that fucking jet's not real. <laughs> that jet couldn't lift off the ground at all. I used to sit there sitting thinking in a... In a um, Hotel in Dublin, right? But then everyone started going, I fucking think the bastard is the way of doing the Netflix yeah, documentary. So 50% of Ireland thought I was doing it, 50% uh, didn't. I thought you were. I thought I was. Fair play. And then I was coming back, so I recorded all the, the stuff just on, in an hour. Mm. And like I was going, right, folks, I'm just back off the flight from LA here and all. And then I was posting it when we were leaving the, the, the hotel from Dublin. Dublin to go back to fucking Europe. Mm. So I was posting that, people going, I knew he was in fucking doing that. that, <laughs> that I knew he had a, a documentary on Netflix, right? So when we got up, we clipped everything together. Mm. All like there was, I mean, about maybe 20, 30 big influencers had their output on it. Like mm. how he wasn't going, how yeah. he was going. So we clipped it all together and put it out there. And then we left it for a week or two and we let everybody go, did he go? Mm. Did he not go? So then we let that sit and then we created Troll Busters. Where we, we picked like five normal people. That were yeah. trolling and bullying and going, I don't even know if I met you, I'd break our jaw. Oh, so anyone that, that told you, yeah. you've told them. We, we, we told them, them back. And, and, but oh, in respect, yeah. like, Baker will not. Like, like, you have 
Like, you have one week to send a written apology. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, so then bikes were calling. Like, they were, they want to see the stuff they were sending with me. Did you ever get on fades over it? Like a proper scrub? Yeah, I was sure the fuck want to go with me. <laughs> 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 Unless they're getting paid well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so with people coming out, like, fucking the likes of fucking Suter, um, Biko, all these people, and I'm just going to myself, right, these bikes were coming out of the water. Now, I didn't know them mm. from fucking Adam, but they yeah. knew me. Yeah. And they wanted to ridicule me, so fucking Suter said, he's the most hated man in Ireland. I can't play my music. I can't even DJ anymore because of him. And I'm going, hey, all I said is that I got enough fix back about yeah. things. Everybody hate me, right? <laughs> and then Biko was coming on going, I've sat all weekend on my bathroom floor, and this man could not have got his jet from Ireland to LA without stopping three times. So this has to be fake. But guys, get the next day, out again doing it. And he goes, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Like, yeah. right? So when we put it all together, we, I goes, no, we'll do it. We'll call these people out as bullies and trolls. Because they were, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't mention their name. Not once. I yeah. didn't know them. And then when I called them out, no, they're done. Sent me solicitor's letters. Bitcoin sent me as, or Bico <laughs> sent me a solicitor. <laughs> he, he sent me a solicitor's letter. <laughs> and I read it out publicly. And I said, if these solicitors want to take it against me, Use our solicitors that stick up for bully boys and trolls. I ripped the solicitor's letter up and I said, fuck you, just put it into the bin. I said, I want a written apology to me within the next seven days before I throw, throw Buster's twos out, right? Then we caught fucking Suter playing my song. Yeah. Raise up, raise, raise up. up yep. He was playing it in Thompson's one night. So I said to myself, He's, they've always been fans of mine, but I didn't know who they were. Yeah. I didn't know who they were. But when we called them all out, what happened? They went under the racks. Mm. Men uh, and suits. Uh, yeah. Solicitors, get the solicitors. Yeah. Get the solicitors. So, I, 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 I didn't was... do nothing. All I done was pretend that I went to LA, give 50 grand to a mental health charity, and everybody fucking wanted to go to Andy, man. Yeah. <laughs> they go, no, no, that's not wise. No. I, I heard Laura, you need to get set up as well on your, you have a food prep. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You have a, what's it called, the food prep? It was called Alpex, AMPX. And uh, someone tried to set you up in the, in the, the work group of, did someone try and ruin your business in there? Fucking sure, yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah. happened? What happened? <laughs> I just heard it today. So <laughs> you totally are. My mate was like, oh, I just can't even loan about uh, his food prep company near near uh, getting destroyed. I get set up. Uh, <laughs> it is. It's no longer. Round packs is done. Done. Round packs isn't going. Okay. There's something coming. Right. Okay. I can't say it today. I can right. say it in two weeks. Right. Has to be raised, fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck these ones. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's only out there giving out the big secret. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That fuck. He has an hour whiskey. I can't believe this, but He's ain't on an hour podcast. Right? See his name. He's only out there sinking the whole story. I got myself up this for eight years. Boxing <laughs> for eight years. Well, hang on. He, he just sucked me out the train. Fuck me. Ah, something like that's wrong, right? Yeah, right. But for what have men were. Ampex, Ampex, your man, ah, but or was it a man or a woman? Ah, the, a, a, a person. Much, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to say too much on, on the podcast. Uh, okay, but I, I was badly set up. <laughs> <laughs> I was set up to fall, but what happens after a fall? You come back up. You're raised. He raised back up. Well, his new brand is not released yet. <laughs> but he's got a big marketing campaign behind him. <laughs> You're a fucking bastard. Uh, <laughs> There'll be no drinking what's after me. Fuck's sake. I'm going home. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So, Ampax um, uh, so, finished then? Ampax uh, has been officially closed. Why? Wasn't working, base. It wasn't. Was we infested. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll, and this is no joke. And so, going through um, at the start, I, I was personal trainer by trade. Mm. I had about 120 clients, and we started making uh, the meals for them. Yeah. So, we started making meals for them. They had a nutritional plan, and we started making the meals very quickly. Ampex grew from fucking Yuri, Dundalk, mm. Belfast, Balamina, 32 counties of Ireland. So, we had a wee small kitchen. We we're making 10,000 meals a week. Oh, but things were good. Things were good. You're only yeah, what's overhead. that a price robot? Yeah. We had visit from the likes of environment and health. Guys, you can't be fucking producing any longer. You've outgrown it. So we invested a lot of money. I invested half a million of my own money mm. into building a production facility. Mm. So we actually went down. There was guys in it. We said to them, look, it was actually a boxing. It was Bourne Football Club. They'll be watching this. So there was actually Should a boxing born? club in it. I went down, made a deal with them. And I said, look, boys, any chance you should get out of this place in the next 24 hours? Mm. He said, they're probably good, lah. Right, we made a deal. They get out. I put builders in, and they fucking put in state of the art kitchen. We built a um, 
big machines where it was gas pressure machines. Mm. You could do like fucking 100 meals every couple of minutes. It was a massive operation. Yeah. We went down there. At this stage, we were holding full, like we had delivery drivers delivering first, but we grew that big, we had to outsource it. Mm. So we out, I'll not say too much on this, but we outsourced it to a delivery company. And it went pear shaped. Meals, yeah. deliver, the boxes weren't being delivered. Boxes were being delivered three days mm. late. Obviously, you can't eat meals if they're yeah, delivered late. Okay. But we read the storm. Then we went into a um, retail. Mm. And he goes, we can't do these door to doors because how do we deliver 2,000 boxes? Oh, you were in Centre and Spar. We were, at, we were yeah. everywhere. So we went into that. Then my whole plan was to get on packs open up that I didn't have to be involved in it, mm. that I could read a report on a Friday of every week say, tick, tick, tick. That's my mm. money. Mm. Keep the thing flowing. Very quickly, I realised that was never going to be the case. Really? Never going to be the case. It's not because there's all these problems. If now, yeah. if I was happy to leave my legacy at the end of the, the fucking thing as a chicken curry king, yeah. <laughs> yeah. on my deathbed, on my, de on my deathbed to go. Big on the chicken curry. Curries were great. That man just made the fun. Seems for body race. I loved it. Now, if that's the way I wanted to fucking go, go down out, yeah. the books, mm. go right. Big Andy Malone. I don't know his job title, but I know one thing, he's done a hell of a fucking thing make up a salad. <laughs> salad, salad, that's what you want. A salad, but, so I had to make a decision. Can I get the thing running without me being involved in it? 16, mm. 18 hours a day. Me sitting in an office with a suit and a tie on and sitting there going, oh yes, we've done 4,000 chicken curry meals today. Mm. Was my idea of hell. Yeah. My idea of hell, it was hell, right? But I turn around and goes, look, is there a smarter way of doing it? And be, to be honest with you, by the time we caught the smarter way, it was too late. Okay. The smarter way was outsourcing it. Mm. Getting somebody to make a product. Yeah. Putting your face and brand, tell it. They mm. deal with production. They deal with ordering. They deal with headaches from staff. Yeah. And that was the smarter way to do it. Mm. So we had invested all this money. I had invested a big chunk of my own money. And I, I, I tell you, I, um, I decided, I said to myself, I have to make a big decision here. Mm. Let Ampax die and let Andy Malone rise or stay the chicken curry master. You saw all the decision. The yeah. decision was to let Ampax yeah. die. I went over, we've so a, new, we a new company opening in, in, in Dubai. Uh, so, <clears throat> so was your, the first thing you started was PT then? And, and then you just went into. Yeah, it was a PT PTB. PT so did you leave school and go straight in the PT or did you go to uni no, and stuff like that? No, I left school and fucking meant to be a carpenter. So it was did useless. you? It was useless. I couldn't even put a nail in. You know had me doing hooking on and hooking off all day. Andy, that's coming in. Hook on and hook off. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even fucking hammer. I couldn't even use the hammer. They were saying, Andy, like, we're not, we like you. You're getting yeah. back on a Friday in the pub. But you're here three <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> three years. Three years, Fox, yeah. Exactly. I said, I said, this, this is fucking about that man, Jim, man. I need to do something. So I ended up going to Australia. Okay. No, right. Partying for a year. We're fucking, you know yourself. Yeah. So you're back in that game where we're fucking up to all sorts. Partying for three days. Where about in Australia, were you? Sydney, Sydney. Sydney. We've done Melbourne and we've done Sydney. Uh, but we settled in Sydney. And all we're doing was partying. Yeah. So we, we, we worked for two or three days and then we're fucking... Carping the At yokes. At yokes and stuff. It was what it was back in the day. We were yeah. all just partying like fuck. So um, when I come back from it, I said, I need to get my head together. I need to fucking get doing something. And I go, mm. what do I like? What age were you? At this stage, it was about 22, okay. 23. Oh, so football, I was a good footballer when I was younger, up until about 14. Soccer league or? Yeah, soccer. I was about yeah. to sign the Empire Agreement form for Sunderland. They flew oh, me oh, over, they flew really? my mother and father over, and I got a bad injury. I'm not sure you know, I'll show you it later. But I got a bad injury and had to get fucking um, a bit of steel put into my right ankle. I got back, started playing again, went into depression, partying for two years, and then I got over to Barnet in the second division. Mm. Yeah. I was 18. And then I was on my last. I was there for four weeks and it was in my last couple of days of trial. I was playing Watford in a pre season friendly mm. and I snapped my thigh in two. Your thigh? Uh, my thigh. My, my, my right thigh. Man. <laughs> <laughs> my right thigh. <laughs> Did uh, you remember, somebody you break you in training you know, or something? Or? What happened? I fucking, whatever way, I kicked kick the ball, right? It was actually, do you remember Jonathan Woodgate signed, yeah. for, uh. signed for Real Madrid uh. and he couldn't play a game? Remember he only played three yeah. games in three years? It was a freak. The, the specialist told me I had the exact same injury as Jonathan Woodgate. It was like one in fucking billion chance of getting it. Oh. Where your thigh snaps and it peels back. And then you could be four games in again and it snaps That's again. Yeah. And it kept snapping. And then after that, it went fucking off the Fun. rails. And it goes, how can I do something that still involves physical activity? And yeah, was, and it's could you, were you able to do PTM with that 
it's not Oh, awesome. 100%. It was only when, so I could have went out and played a game. See, in the 70th minute. I, I could have just, just went. I king of all out the right wing. And just snapped. And, just snap. mm. and they were saying, like, Andy, it's fully healed, but we can't. Same with Woodgate. Three yeah. years. And that's why Madrid backed him. They thought uh, he, was, he, was, he was recovered. Exact same injury, you know. So you were got it then? Were, is that why, like, the 50 grand for Pips, was that, like, that, even mean more to you because you went through the prison? Thank you, my man. Perfect. Nice. What do we call this whiskey game, boys? Uh, world, world beater. The world beater. <laughs> <laughs> it's made up in, in near my part of the yep. world. It's up in the Cologne Distillery. Yeah. Cologne Distillery. Big shout out to Cologne Distillery with the best whiskey in Ireland. <laughs> what do you call it? World beater. World beater. Let me see, let me see what I think of it. Here, can I have one as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yum, yum. Very nice. <laughs> oh, very nice. That's very a nice. Very, very nice. You don't beat him. And then uh, you opened your business with, with food prep and whatnot. And then the PTM was fantastic. When did you start getting the social presence of? A, I was it. How social? did you become an right, so influencer? You were you were up before because I remember you you were ruffling feathers because I remember on Twitter right, and people were were <laughs> were reading on Twitter about. Uh, raising up, uh, raise well, your man's right, up, you raise this, barrel, raise. Everyone, I was going, what the every, fuck's raise? Every group chat you said, you got, you had, you seen Andy. And people were talking face. about raise. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I went on Instagram <laughs> and I had fuck. This is a felon. Raise, I have for ways up, raise up. Is it good? How about I tell you what happened, right? Shit. Makes a rag in the face. Fuck's sake, Andy. Really, really? yeah. It's a great story. You like this one, right? So when we opened the thing, I said, look. I always come up with these old mad, these fucking things to create a stir and create fucking eyes on, right? So I says, tell you what we'll do. We'll give power back to the students. Mm. This is, I haven't told this story. Use podcast on my Usually with all the little secrets. <laughs> but um, I had said to the boys at the time, I tell you what we'll do. We'll give power back to the students. I said, everybody's ridiculing the, the boys down, partying in the Holy Land, sniffing the gear, mm. drinking the beer. And all they want to do is ridicule them. I said, what about we go down and give them fucking 5,000 meals? And we give, you know, we give back to the students. That's a bad idea, aren't they? I said, <laughs> <laughs> I, said I, I think it's a great idea. And he said, what would you do? I said, you know what we'll do? We'll take all the unpacked fans down. We'll block all the streets. We'll take this all off the insurance so nobody can drive the fans. Nobody can get in. Nobody can get out. We'll create a big fucking hype that the traffic can't get in. The police will be called. They'll try to arrest me. The students will turn around and go, Save all the Malone, right? What happened? <laughs> We've done exactly that. we marched into the Holy Lands. We parked all the fans across the road. Nobody could get to work or not. And they're all people that weren't saying, Yeah, fucking bastards, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the police come down. I said, I can't get anyone to drive this because there was a thousand students. Did you ever see that? Uh -huh. A thousand students took the street. And I goes, My drivers are stuck in there drinking. And I says, And there's no insurance in this fucking farm. But if you want, I'll get them to drive the van. They're going, oh, you, you had this plan. I just had fucking nothing planned. Right? They're trying to cuff me and all nice and they're going, save Andy, my boy. Free Andy. What the fuck I do? Man, they're talking, free Andy, wise up, rise up. That's the arrow that he's trying to cuff me. And the thousand students were on the street and they're all sitting eating now packs meals. Oh, Nobody man. could get in. Nobody could get out. It was all over the newspapers the next day. There was a fucking chopper cam. Genius. So do you think that, that I, I, is I, I, what got Ampex in the that was, that was That was the first event. That, mm. that was the first one. And I says, look, I'm good at this. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah, good yeah. at creating hype. I'm yeah. good at making people want to watch. Then I says, right, what's the next one? Mm. And then we moved on. That we're coming up to the biggest one ever. Now very soon. It's coming? Oh, it's coming. Oh, the biggest one ever is coming in the next two or three months. <laughs> and that's why I'm buzzing again. That's right. why I'm back. That's why you're back again That's why I'm social back media. on social media. That's why I'm fucking buzzing. The biggest one, the date's coming. Everyone wants to sing, Malone's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> the rise of Andy Malone is only starting. <laughs> I can't wait. And that's why I'm buzzing. Like energy in me. Like, a, like oh. But so we went from doing the part of students. Yeah. Pretend I was in LA doing my Netflix yeah. documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Soon to be out. <laughs> <laughs> then we done Trollbusters with Bitcoin, Arbico and Sooner, right? Mm. Then we done um, the reset. The reset has begun. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see the you reset. see the reset? The reset. Yeah. Remember, I'm, 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 I'm all over it. He loves it. The reset has begun. was going to Dubai and everyone was going, what's the reset? Oh yeah, you, you moved to Dubai, didn't moved you? Moved to Dubai. So the reset has begun. Yeah. Right where you went. What I done was let Ampex die, went to Dubai, reset, yeah. let the whole mayhem continue. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? Let them all do it. And I'm sitting there. Enjoying yourself. <laughs> on the beach while they're all hitting upon me. Oh, oh, so he can't get his chicken curry. He's on <laughs> He's a boss and he loves that pepper chicken. <laughs> so I'm sitting there drinking a wee cocktail saying the reset has begun. Right? Yeah. The reset did happen. Right. And now we're back. 
and you're coming. No, I'm not. Why I'm coming like a steam train? Like I'm oh, all geez. obsessed. Raise the I'm all obsessed. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude, you, is that you, you moved out full time to the Six months there, six, six months here. Yeah. yeah. Can so is, is that, that is that the most here thing? now? And me and Max working on something else outside yeah. of the box, and there's a few things going on at the minute mm. that will be coming out in the next 14 to 21 days. So by the time this is probably aired, mm. we, we'll be going, that's what that fucking... That's what he was talking about. Like, yeah. Check it, buddy, check it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? No, no, we'll, we'll do it on... Pa- no, we're going to do a wee Patreon no, episode, so we'll get some right, secrets right. for Patreon. Don't reveal it. Put us on Patreon. Do you, do you like uh, Dubai? Yeah, what's it's the like, lifestyle like, right? Dubai. The difference is, right, I love Ireland, mm. right? I love the cold air. I love do the rain. I, I, I love... No, wait, if you go to Dubai... I've never you been can, he's you, you can back him. and tell me that you don't love the cold uh, air. I, I, love, I love Ireland. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I love Ireland, right? I love the cold air. I love the thing. I love certain people in Ireland and I love the other people in a different way. Mm. I love the other people where I look at them and go, fuck, I wish I could help you. Mm. No, there's 97% mm. of the population that are hate people. They hate themselves. They're sitting in the press and going, how? That, the, the reason why it was close to my heart about giving the £50,000 donation mm. Pips Hope and Support was I seen how fucking much hate I was getting. You know what I yeah. said to myself? I'm, all I'm doing is trying to fucking do good. And I'm getting this hit. But it made me more want to give £50,000 to Pips Hope and Support, the mental health charity, because I could see even people that fucking knew me, people that I had relationships with, people, and all of a sudden, because I was doing well, they wanted yeah, to hear, it's they wanted to hear it's about it. me. But you know what i done? Instead of going into the shit in the gutter with them, instead of me turning around and going, so they're mm-hmm. fucking yeah. assholes. I'm the king. They're yeah. dickheads. Yeah. They're wee wasters. What I turn around and goes is, if I can give £50,000 to my home, hometown charity I can help these people mm. now a lot of people that hate me and hate upon me have used that money to help them or help their family yeah. Yeah. and I know that to be a fact and what I turn around and say is you might see me coming on and going they have fucking dick nuts and then mm. that's an act it's a bit of crap yeah. secretly I show absolutely no hate to anybody mm. anyone that ever hates me I'm saying fuck it God love them yeah. because I've reached a level in my mindset where I don't hate upon them because I know don't look at the the message look at the messenger yeah. and if the messenger's suffering how can they not be hitting me? Because uh, they hate themselves. Yeah. I love myself. Right? Mm. He's going to say, I know what you mean. Hey, Bruce. I can see that thing. He said, I love myself. Here, I was thrown there. <laughs> he said, fuck it. Hey, he's in that bathroom. He said, they were spray painted on. I see the bags of Halle, and they were catapulted on in the bathroom. <laughs> Do you go on, like, say, YouTube or Instagram or whatever, and read the, the troll comments or just ignore them? Or? Nothing, right? So, this is true, right? He loves it. He loves like every comment. Hey, this is what I do is don't look at any of it. None of it. Not one of it, right? So somebody might say to me, don't, don't want to hear. Don't want to hear. Mm. Now, if I'm bringing something to light again, like Thrillbuster season two. Uh, you have mm. to do it. Because you have to but get the... But do it with joy. Yeah. Like, I'm not, not going to go on and go, oh, that boy said that um, mm. I'm a tally tubby. Oh, mm. no, I'm, 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 I'm a tally tubby. Yeah, yeah. This is great, right? Mm. Because can we show these people that, that like, I, I'll tell you, a fucking story, right? I was at a party one night, right? We're sitting there, we're swimming away after hours, two or three in the morning. Somebody said to me, Andy, you see the hate that you get hmm. online? I know it affects you. I said, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Says, oh, it has to. It ha-. Now, they wanted to fight with me in this party. It does affect you. And I'm going, it doesn't. No, no, but, it doesn't. But, but genuinely, yeah. doesn't. it doesn't. No way. Because I know who I am. Hmm. So why would I let somebody who is, I call it bottom left, and yeah. sit in the gutter and I call myself top right I, I was going to ask you what, what is top right and the, yeah. so top right is top right is heaven mm. right? right bottom left is hell mm. and people live their life usually in between where one day they're top right where they're saying oh fucking throwing a Tommy Mac gentleman mm. like, fucking two fucking tubes yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no perspective on it right and then people say big Andy like he's a good lad he give 50,000 pounds to mm. mental health he give um, 10,000 meals the students he give 10,000 meals to Daisy Hill Hospital and then they almost he must be up to no good that cunt he's, uh, he's laundered yeah. money and you're going the, the, what the fuck now the people that sit and trying to ridicule you about it are the people that need the help Ireland yeah. is the place that happens that only, I think it only happens in Ireland you get they love you until you get that point and, and then, then they hate turn, you, turn you yeah. but, but you know what they always do they love you they hate you and what do they always do again love they love you again yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's the way it's it's weird, all, it? it's... all this goes but you know when you know see when you get the I've done a lot of mindset work mm. and I'm not making and I don't want to sound egotistic here but I believe my mindset's bulletproof I don't believe if somebody comes into me now and says 
fucking hell the US you had there. Mm. I'd probably break his jaw, mm. but just because I'm sitting Just because, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, like, I come and I go to the boys, <laughs> fuck it out. The boys smash the yard. But he's had that, you just go, fuck you, you start the app. Raise up, raise up. Raise up, But um, what does it say? Is but, that in bulletproof mindset? Bulletproof mindset. In, in the, not in an egotistic way, in the way of, if, if, if I see somebody who's giving me grief or saying mm. stuff about me, I know they're suffering. Yeah. A man told me before, right? I told you this, don't look at the message. Look at the messenger. Now you look at somebody sitting here, successful, healthy, wealthy. They're not going to be sitting saying, oh, that aren't even on YouTube. They don't even have time to know who I, I know. am. They're, 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 they're on their own thing, yeah. <laughs> in a joking way, but yeah. they don't have time to know who I am. Now the cunt that's sitting there eating, as I say, a fucking whisper, eating a toffee. Crap, I'm wrong with whisper. I, I, I don't get me wrong, but he's going to say after the crack. I love the West Bank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you see the bad news thing out here? Hey, go to the fuller. What a joke, I try to say it to make the first of night. What flavor of pad noodle do you? Oh, you're checking the mushroom. Uh, yeah, 100%. Oh, no, 100%. No, no, no. Oh, no. It's Bombay Bavo every day. Oh, yummy. I had a fucking head one for my breakfast this morning. I swear to fuck. Sick here, you're living in the fucking bottom right now, dude. Fuck sick. I do. I used the whispers as a floor. Fuck sick. <laughs> that's bottom right all, all day. Bottom Never mind. Left, top left or bottom only, left. I'm only joking. <laughs> but you see, or the way, bottom right. <laughs> you see the way I come out and say them things, right? It's not that I'm sitting there. I'm trying to fucking say, oh, the way. Mm. It, it's to try and make the person that actually is sitting 20 yeah. stones, 20 stones yeah. over there. Well, a, a, a multi pack of whispers, and he's eating them, and mm. he's sitting there going, I hate my life. And he goes, Where's that dick on? They belong to yeah. me. I'm a fucking fat whisper eater. Mm. Now, I eat whispers. Yeah. I, I love an old pot noodle. It's not that I'm sitting here going, oh, like I, I think I'm superior. Mm. I'm simply doing these videos, to be honest with you, boys. I would love to delete my social media, right? No social media for me is my fucking state of saying. When I have yeah. my wee girls, mm. and I have my wee girls for three or four days, and I have no social media, and I'm with them. That's what my happy place is. Mm. And then I'm going, coming on, somebody going, oh, the, uh, this happened when I had went off social media in Dubai. A woman had rolled into me saying that her, mm. her son Excuse had me. killed himself. Oh, and that he watched me every day. And he lo- now, the woman wasn't trying to say it was fucking my fault, but she wrote mm. me a big message saying, oh, and I just want to thank you. And I thought you should know this, that your work and what you're doing on social media is helping, Help. helping so many people. Yeah. I'm thinking back, oh, I had this fucking heavy, heavy heart where I goes, imagine I hadn't it. Mm. Went over sipping yeah. the fucking cocktails in the bay thinking it was fucking the dawn mm. and stayed away from social media. What if I had been still on, even when I wasn't feeling well, yeah. when I didn't feel good? What if I had been still going on, going, get the fuck out of bed, you lazy bath? I'm going, mm. fucking gone out now. Yeah. So you had a wee bit of guilt then, I felt, I felt, even though it wasn't your fault. I, like, I, yeah. I felt guilt and I felt fucking like I had a heavy fucking heart over it. And I goes to myself, I've done a lot of work to try and help people, mm. right? And there's a lot, a lot of people out trying to fucking go against that and say, and I goes, but it's the one person. That if I come on, like I have women at 67 years of age saying that their, their husband's dying of cancer, that their mother had died like the week before, and only for my videos they would have committed suicide. Mm-hmm. And I ain't going myself. As much as I do feel sometimes, like I'm not going to say that, I know I say I'm bulletproof, but sometimes I get feel like it might be. It's our pressure. You know, a bit of yeah. pressure on my shoulders. Yeah, I ain't pressure. going, Jesus. I see the Instagram, so that's hard. It, it, well. You know what it I do? I, I feel sometimes it's pressure because it's not that somebody's writing into me going, Oh, Andy, your your basmati rice was wrong, and I got a dose of shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, you've, you've got people serious S- problems no, on people their back. People writing to me saying, Andy, only mm. for you, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. I'm going. How can I mm. step away from social media, right? And, 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 and uh, this is absolutely an honest thing. It's not egotistic, right? It's me saying, if I step away from social media, I know that there will be more suicide, yeah. right? And whatever I know, what my purpose is in life. I know for me to be able to give fifty thousand pounds to a mental health charity, right? Mm. It wasn't me. It had to be God. It had to be yeah. God says, like, we're gonna make a hundred million boom with Ampex. Mm. We're gonna give him this cash flow to give back to the mental health charity. Mm. We're gonna make him close Ampex. We're gonna make him come back with his new brand that nobody knows about. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone. <laughs> nobody knows about. It. He's gonna say, she have it up after <laughs> I ain't gonna say much of keeping everybody in the edge of their seats. <laughs> Fucking wanker. But um, what I said is, um, now I know, I know, right? I believe in this, right? And a lot of people say, "Fucking man's coped, right? I believe in divine timing. Good and bad. Mm. So I believe everything bad that ever happened to me. It's my perspective of it being bad, but it had to happen. So I believe now for my new, stepping into the new Andy of the 
Um, <laughs> the brand yet to be, <laughs> yet to be announced. <laughs> <laughs> but look, me stepping into my new projects mm. and the new things I'm doing isn't that it's my decision. Mm. I believe it's from the It's heart, all God, the yeah. God. I believe, like, people say to me, ah, and you're this and you're that. Now I'm saying, going, hold on a second. When people are suffering during COVID, we give out mm. 100,000 meals to the homeless in Dublin. 100,000. We give out 10,000 meals to Daisy Hill Hospital. We give fucking 10,000 meals to the students. And we give £50,000 mm. to the mental health center. And I'm going, hold on a second, guys. What have we done wrong during COVID? But help everybody. Yeah. But what I say to people is, once you're doing these good things, and this has to happen. Right? The devil is working mm. while God's working harder. So the, the people are going to come out and say, oh, there has to be something wrong there. Like, <laughs> they're doing yeah, all this. Yeah. But what I always turn around and go is, once you have to go through them storms mm. to become who you are. Like, you had to get fucking beaten in the fight, beaten in the fight, mm. to become who you are. Yeah. Right? See, if you don't go through the adversity, how can you grow? So I know now, and this is why I can stay so positive and so, people going, this the person at the party. You have to hate the hatred. And I'm going, I understand the hatred. I embrace it. I know why. Now, when you know why it's coming, mm. you can embrace it. Now, if I turn around going, oh, fuck, I am a Teletubby. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I am not. Yeah, then it starts. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyrone did tell me, Brown Public. <laughs> <laughs> but you get me. Yeah. If I'm sitting there getting invested in the negative, right? I don't believe in my divine purpose. Yeah. Right? And I do believe in it. Now, look, I, I would have been afraid to speak with this four or five years ago because I would have thought it was fucking... Hocus Sounds, hocus. Yeah. I didn't know God. Mm. I didn't believe in God. I didn't believe in spirits, angels. Are you, are you uh, like a born again Christian or are you a Muslim? Uh, or? No, what I am is uh, I'm a Catholic. I'm a Christian. Right. That re I read the Quran. Mm -hmm. I read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I read it all. And I believe in there's one God. Yeah. Call him who you want. Call him fucking Allah. God, whoever you want to yeah. call it. I believe there's one God, and I do believe we're all put here for a purpose, a divine mm. purpose. Mm. And I believe everything I've went through from the carpenter who couldn't put a nail into the hook. Who called him off all day? Here yeah. comes who called him off all day. From the carpenter, the personal trainer, to the meal prep owner, till the new company. The secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the secret company. It's all part of the journey. Will I influential boxing? It's all these things. Yeah. Do I want to do influential boxing? Not very technically. Is, uh, is the gods putting this in my pot? Of course. Yeah. Let me mix it now. The things are opening up. Why? Because they're probably going to turn around. And what's it going to do? Same as Toolbusters. Mm. It's going to bring eyes in the new brand. What's a new brand stand for? Everybody can rise. It doesn't matter if you're a fucking, if you're sick. Mm. You're a bin man, you're the president, you're yeah, not. We're all, all together. Yeah. And we're all together. And if you can actually truly believe that, but we're all together, how can I sit and hate somebody that's calling me fucking Tally Tubby? Or, 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 yeah, Tally Tubby <laughs> <laughs> Or somebody that's telling me Brad everywhere. But <laughs> <laughs> how can you say uh, hate the Vietnam? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Her own bastard. laughs> did, you, did you just start reading a crown when you got into the bed? Well, you know, or... I really hear this for a fucking mild story, but he's fucking, so they're going deep on me today. So when I had arrived in the Dubai, mm. we had went out of an apartment and went into the apartment. And when I opened this, is, man, this is, you can call it a freak or call it what you want. As soon as I had put my bags in, I had opened the side locker mm. and the Quran was in it. Right. Now, I'm a very strong believer of signs. Yeah. I believe in a sign. I believe that, how many times have you tried to get me in the podcast before now? Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Tommy, yeah. Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, 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 I'm back in two weeks. Hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, 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 Adam Moon's coming on. I said, wait, wait, wait. Uh, 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 just fizzles out. Uh, Adam Moon's come back on. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, yeah, this is divine timing. Now, we're all here now, and I'm going to call a few bastards out now whose noses are going to get broke, right? <laughs> but, I'm the one that's talking about the Quran and the Bible. And the Bible. Is it you yeah, yeah. bastards are going to break? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can read the Quran, I can read the Bible, and I can still break noses. <laughs> but, <laughs> See you, Judas. You better watch your back. <laughs> See you, Judas, you're dead. So we're coming after all the Judases, and we'll call out a few Judases yeah. after this. Yeah. We're going to smash, and we're doing this here from top right. The yep. bottom left. Right. Yep. We're going to smash the bottom lefters. Is that all right? So like, we'll, we'll do, that do you know what, right? We'll do the college the for Patreon, Patreon, right? On Patreon. We'll so, so tune in to Patreon to see who Andy's calling it. The fun, the fun stuff happens in Patreon, uh -huh. so anyone that wants oh, it, yeah, yeah. that's the good <laughs> stuff. Hey, yeah, no, I'm sitting here going, please, please let me keep talking. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> please. There'll be plenty of talking. <laughs> I don't like social media. He said, please, please let me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go on and tell me anything. Please let me keep talking. <laughs> right, anyway, thank you for joining us today. 
like, subscribe, share, tell everyone about it. But make sure to join us on Patreon. Switch over now. It's only two pound a month, and it's where the fun happens. We're gonna have a few pints. Ali's gonna start calling names. I'll tell you what. I haven't told you the number one story yet. <laughs> <laughs>